This video is sponsored by Adobe Express. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am once again joined by the gingerest and loveliest of people on earth. It is Step and Thrive. Thanks guys. Stop hollering and hooting, yeah? And who the f booing? Hey! What of an effort for the editor already. <laughs> <laughs> and can, can someone please stop honking their car? What What's, the hell? What are these explosions going on? <laughs> I might join you on the, on the green screen. Right, uh, today we've been inspired by George Michael's love life as we're watching six girls and one secret boy. I've heard that the boy is a very convincing girl. <laughs> what happened, George? Joe Weller might make a video on this. <laughs> <laughs> One of them's like, which one do you reckon's the boy? <laughs> I like the idea that they're not going to be blindfolded. They're always going to be sat in the room. And it'd just be like, <laughs> go on, it's 2023. You choose, idiots. <laughs> just in the fear of being cancelled. Yeah. Per person in the flannel shirt, you're, you're a girl, if you, if you want to be. I'm Hania. I'm 26. You're her knee. <laughs> Anatomy fun. Oh. I'm going to close my eyes as I hear these intros and see who I would have guessed. I'm saying um, I'm 23 and I'm from Long Beach, California. I'm Celeste. I'm 19 and I'm from Culver City, California. I'm Casey. Okay, what was the name of the person you just heard? Oh no, I was just gonna number them. Just, just, oh, okay, just <laughs> as you usually do with the women. This you're is, a three, you're a two. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, she's a seven. <laughs> my name is Natalie, but you can call me Nat. I am from That one, Washington, that one. Sport. Correct, well done. Could it have been maybe due to the fact that they were going around and it ended up being on the last girl? I didn't know, I didn't know where I was coming up. I was going off a great instinct. And at that point I thought, that's a different tone to the rest. My name is Natalie, but you can call me Nat. I am from Washington. I recently moved here for work, Ooh, but wow. yeah. For the most part, my- <laughs> Already got them hook, line, and sinker. They're all just going on. Like, Ooh. Yeah, like, oh my god, she sounds like my kind of girl. <laughs> I too am or am not enjoying this video right now. But one quick question where on God's green earth actually is he right now? Why we arrived here on the Adobe Express, of course. <laughs> of course, I joke. Adobe Express isn't a method of transportation. It's actually an exciting expansion of Adobe Creative Cloud, making creativity even more approachable and accessible. But what's that got to do with your background, sir? Well, I'll tell tell you, sit tight and stop piping up. I firstly hopped on Adobe Express with consent and used the generative AI text to image tool to create myself a bedroom. That bedroom wasn't personalized. It wasn't for me. I then decided to make a bear room. No, not a room containing bears, a room containing nothing. I then used text to image to make things such as a sofa, a chest of drawers, a portrait. And then I cunningly used the remove background tool to make them seem like they were made to be there. Now this bedroom is clearly mine. The books on my chest of drawers showing my vast expanse of knowledge. The football on the floor showing that I am in fact an alpha male. And the toy car showing that none of the above is true and I'm actually a child. And hey, it was so easy that a child could use it. But the use of Adobe Express means that anybody can do it. So why don't you, today, just after watching these... <laughs> They're at it again, look at them. These funny, funny men. <laughs> Most part, my technique coming in with it is like a more masculine take on it, because if I was too girly... How do you get your voice to sound like, like, take all of the, the bass You do impressions, it? don't you? Well, I don't do impressions of women. What's everyone wearing? Jeans. Oh, now close your eyes and imagine Stephen. Sorry, as I just heard a zip go down, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a coat. Yeah, next. <laughs> right, is anyone in anything Boring. lacy? Anyone got anything lacy on? <laughs> I, I can smell <laughs> leggings in the room. <laughs> Let's go, like, what's everyone's shoe size? Ooh. <laughs> I'm a size Someone 10. just goes 11. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I am wearing size 7.5. Right? I think it's pretty mm, average yeah. for girls, I guess. I'm, I'm like 5'3. I'm a size 5. When's Nat going to say anything, by the way? <laughs> They've all just been chatting. When you look at it from this angle, they're all very close in with each other. And then yeah. <laughs> Nat is just standing out on the edge. Just Ashley Cole uh, it. <laughs> Ashley Mole in it. Nice. Hey, we're having fun. <laughs> I'm six foot and I have a shoe size of nine. So I thought it might have been a bit of a rogue shout going for six foot but then i guess they can't turn around and go you can't be six foot if you're a woman out yeah this is it this is what always happens when i watch these cut videos i feel like i second guess and double bluff mm. and it's usually just the person that is most obvious to be <laughs> yeah it's sort of lazy casting really this is my female impression <clears throat> My name's Steve. <laughs> this is the pedophile. Oh, my God. oh hey, Chris. <laughs> what a fine voice you got there. 
<laughs> Sorry, that's actually quite good. Can I ask you guys something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's like your biggest insecurity? Oh, good question. Got to be my cock. Well, I'd say the stubble, my beard. <laughs> Just my low-hanging testes. <laughs> Am I right? I think the biggest thing for me is acne. I have it on my face and my back, and it's pretty bad. <laughs> if you were, if you were so self-conscious about the the acne all over your face, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be going on a shoot, going on a video to millions. Okay. You idiot. But then then you say that, and then take the blindfold off, and it is just somebody with acne. Uh, there we go. No way, because you, you must be so repulsive on camera. <laughs> you think we're all good. Actually, can I step away from number six, please? That's brave. I have a, I have another question. What's your like usual go-to style? For me, not. I think I would say like an urban, like comfy style. I'm not super fancy as a person, so. Do you know what this this voice has gotten really good? <laughs> Struggling to keep it down. <laughs> I'm gonna have to nip to the toilet. <laughs> I'm believing it a little bit too much. <laughs> what would you say your style is, Stephen? Um, I wouldn't know. How to describe like, my style? Yeah, no, no. I'd say you dress, you dress more sophisticated. I dress like a teenage boy, you know. What did you guys want to be when, like, you were a little girl? I was actually a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a curveball. They could throw. Oh, yeah. Some of these transitions. Very in. true. Animals. I still love animals. I was a horse girl. I can relate to that. Um, actually, I have horses back in Washington. <gasps> so. I can relate to that. Actually, I have a huge cock as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've got four legs. Did I not mention that? Was I going on about the back knee too much? And my my hooves, I'll be honest. I assembled like a speech for certain questions, but there were certain questions that were just completely off what they were like off the page. Like the horses thing. I just jumped in as soon as I could. I'm like, yeah, I have horses. I don't have horses. <laughs> he was lying. That's not cool. Do you reckon he's not a girl as well? I wouldn't go that far. Okay. Also, his natural laugh that he just did was quite girly. Come on, so. Jubilee. Next time, get someone who's not a pansy, will you? He's too far down the spectrum, you <laughs> mugs. Six girl versus one secret proper man's man. <laughs> vote me out. I'll fucking do you. <laughs> All right? I'll leave when I'm ready. I don't normally vote leave. <laughs> I did vote leave, but I'm trying to stay in this time. So did you guys go to school, like college or anything? Yeah. yeah. So I went to UCI. Yeah, I went to an all boys. Oh, I went to. Um... <laughs> I graduated from like a small little school in Boston. Got me too little. She, she's five ten. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm gonna win this episode? Be sure to like and subscribe, and let's get back to the video. To George Clarky. <laughs> all right then, if they have to. I have the first question. Okay. okay. What was you guys' first period like? I was just gonna ask. Oh. Okay. Perfect. Uh, normally I had, had maths. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be voted out for being fucking annoying. Yeah, for me, I w it was over the summer before ninth grade, and I was getting ready to. Yeah, I'd vote her out. I don't care if she is yeah. a woman. You're out. Sorry, you're boring to listen to. Every male podcaster in the country. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you're a woman. <laughs> Let me talk about masturbating for another half hour. <laughs> hey, pull up that badger. <laughs> and I like went to the bathroom and I saw that there was blood, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to call my mom for some reason. I don't so know I how much we can comment on this bit, Stephen. I've not had my first period yet. I'm until I find the right guy. <laughs> Eventually told my mom like after her, but yeah. yeah, my cousin was the first one that knew. So I, I would... think I'd not literally, but I just would shit myself. Like I'd be like, that's not how like, it works. What? <laughs> that's giving birth. <laughs> it would be scary. I, I think that is one of the things we take for granted is not having a period, like a week of every month where it's just oh, it's a write off basically. Yeah, you just hate yourself. I can for be a week, fucked with that. Just yeah. bleed everywhere. And you have to, you have to pay for the fucking tampons. My word. God, we stand with you, women. I was basically sitting at my desk. I felt a really weird, like, sensation below my stomach. And I was really confused because they were talking about interesting stuff in health class before that point. Now, get out, get out. Shit story, that. Ooh. That was fucking nothing. Though. Rubbish. The class was talking about something really interesting. Name something really specific that only a girl would get. We'll, we'll pause it here for a while. Let's think of things that only women would understand. My brothers are so annoying, am I right, ladies? What, it, what, it, what it's like to hit your car against the curb. <laughs> I've done that way too many times. How do you know your period? Like, how do you know when your period's coming? I have a pigeon come to me in the night. <laughs> <laughs> whispering in my ear, it's coming. <laughs> like in the background, something happens. <gasps> <laughs> Not now. I'm having such a good week. I reckon I could blag some of this. My knowledge of, you know, reading Heat magazine on the toilet, that would get me through some of these rounds. Uh, well, whilst you're having your period. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's an app that tells you when, you, when you're going to come on your period. It'll send you a notification and stuff. The awkward uh, on Love Island. I've me. got a text. <laughs> Uh, Best get out the pool. False, false, false alarm, guys. I'm gonna go put some joggers on. I'm not gonna go in the hideout anymore. Uh, I can't be. I was giving a blowjob to some twat. 
<laughs> is anyone irregular? I'm a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody had any like scary experiences? Can you imagine? Can you imagine Chris MD in this just just trying to flirt with women, <laughs> forgetting what he's meant to be doing? So has anyone got like like big big boobs or anything or <laughs> Was anyone thinking that YouTube with Chris MD? <laughs> what do you mean who? Get her out for a start. One time at a college party, a guy talked to me for like two seconds and then the next day I found out that he was telling everyone that I slept with him. Ah I wanna hear I wanna hear that guy's story. Yeah, you probably saw me chatting to some girl last night when I was asking him where the toilets are. Yeah, we did it there and then. <laughs> You probably missed it, but we did it. <laughs> she sees him walk over to his boy. It's like, <laughs> yes, as a woman, you're a whore. You say no as a woman, you're a prude. Mm -hmm. If you're somewhere in between, people still find a way to hate you. Yeah. So, yeah. preach so to them. Yeah. So the guy's just there, like, like it's fair though. Like, <laughs> in fairness, <laughs> what, what are you then? Are you a prude or a whore? <laughs> yeah. And the little exactly. things we do that. I don't know if everyone knows we do. Like, oh, let me just pretend that I'm playing music in my ears. Right. But ain't no music yeah. playing. Let me just go on the weather. Let me just look down on my phone. Ain't nobody oh, yeah. even telling me. Yeah. The screen be black. It becomes normal, but it really shouldn't have to be. I don't really make any jokes about this. I mean, this is just quite a deep. No, I, I do these things as well because I'm scared of men. So that's fair enough. You have to protect yourself like a force right. field. Yeah. Do you guys know anyone, or like, if you want to share, like? that has experienced sexual assault. Right, this isn't... This must be awful to <laughs> be the guy yeah. here who's making up things. <laughs> the word survivor also is kind of like iffy for me because mm -hmm. I feel like, oh, like, oh, I survived that. Like, yeah. you know, like... I, just, I, w I wouldn't know what to do in this situation. He seems to have been listening because it's very hard to, to join in. It's, it's awkward now for one of them to go, yeah, sorry, don't believe you, actually. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> they have to turn around after a really heartfelt story and go, not buying it, right? You're out. <laughs> yeah. It's any, any word that feels comfortable to you. Who do you reckon's off? Did anyone leave last time? Wait. I guess it was a tie, so they were dead. It could be Nat going. I think the yellow girl on the end's leaving. That's in the t-shirt she's wearing is yellow. I made it past one round. That's what I came in here to do today. Oh, and I was just watching women chat. <laughs> we can watch this every weekday on ITV, guys. I do this yeah. across the bar all the time. So now the dynamic is there is no fake boy, but they're just going to start accusing each other of being a boy. Yeah, this this could get this could get spicy now. Yeah, How do you guys feel about abortion? Right, when you said it could get spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Nat, Nat from off camera. Well, you just aborted me, all right, didn't you? Eh? <laughs> me, I'm pro choice. I believe everyone has the decision to do whatever they want with their body. And within pro choice also exists pro life if you believe that you are pro life. Well, I, I get this as a, as a question, but how does it decipher if they're a boy or a girl? This was really fun at the start, and then we've hit some really tough subjects. I like to, uh, I like to imagine Nat off camera just, just, just getting his hair right. <laughs> <laughs> Doing aftershave. <laughs> Looking sharp. Hey ladies. Hey, you voted me out. Still using the voice though. <laughs> and the government exactly. shouldn't be the ones deciding. So right. exactly. Yeah. Who's like a nice like a good girls. like role model that you have, like a woman role model That's in your really life? Mm. Oh, you've got to go for someone like uh, Greta Gerwig. Greta yeah? Gerwig, should I know who that is? The one who directed Barbie. Oh. Surely that's like a solid answer. But I'm gonna have to say my mother. Say Get it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all thinking that too? But do they all agree like, no, we were about to say your mum Her as well. mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be her mother. She's great. She blows my mind. No, the only thing she blows love. <laughs> hey! What's gonna make the joke? Seriously, book? Nat, you're out, mate. You're gone. <laughs> okay, I'm suspicious of somebody. Okay, go And for I it. have a reason. Um, Hania? What's up? So you were quiet during the abortion topic? Mm hmm Oh, let me fix that up for you. So, <laughs> um, I also did, I mentioned that I am a survivor of assault. So abortion usually gets me really choked up. I feel like it's my body and it's my choice. It, it does give me a little trigger. And if they all get rid of that girl for <laughs> putting it on her like that. Casey, you're the bitch in the middle, eh? Yeah? <laughs> Casey, you that annoying one on the end? Yeah, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> Can I ask you something, Casey? Yes. What is the the metal U-shaped thing in your bra? Do you know what that's called? I don't know what that's called. I do not. The underwire? Yeah, the underwire oh, in your bra. Oh, the underwire. I thought you meant something else. The U-shaped? The underwire? It's two sex having individuals over here. Let's talk bras, Stephen. The old underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Casey's gone. I didn't know the answer, so I was like, okay, they're gonna vote me out. I knew it. How <laughs> they can't see. They're just there for hours afterwards. <laughs> Turn green yet? Anyone got any idea? Any idea?
honestly, it's it's a weird experience. What? That is the weirdest way to introduce. Hi. Hey, bitch. <laughs> It starts up here, it's cool. It goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! So when I opened my eyes and saw Zac Efron, I was like, okay, you got me. Like, I really feel like I've been bamboozled. I do a YouTube channel, and so oh. I used to do like Omegle content, and then I went to like, oh. some games. Yeah, no free promo, sorry, mate. Oh, I think that's the end of that. There you go, the boy did an awful job and got voted out first. Hey, he got past one round, thanks to the producers. If you want more of that, then we can do more of that. If not, then... <laughs> Tough luck, we might do anyway. Uh, go subscribe to Steven and like his face. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> and one last quick reminder to check out Adobe Express. Thanks again to them for sponsoring this video.